Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Kaltz again, and I am here to read another one of my favorite stories called After the Fall by Dan Santat. This story goes along with the old nursery rhyme of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Although this time we imagine that the king's men were able to put him back together again and what his life looks like after he's had this huge trauma, this huge problem happen to him. So what does life look like after the fall? Enjoy. So here's the inside cover. Again, it says after the fall, Humpty Dumpty got back up again. How he got back up again. A story by Dan Santat. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This is my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little cool. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. You can see his binoculars falling down too. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. Here we see his bunk bed, but he's not in it. He's here on the floor. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I walked past the wall every day, and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. So even though his outside body is fixed, his inside mind and feelings were not fixed yet. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches. But day after day, I kept trying. And trying. Until I got it just right. My plane was perfect, and it flew like nothing could stop it. It's a great plane. It even looks like one of the birds. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds. But it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. All right, I want us to pause our reading and I really want us to predict here. He says accidents happen and we see the look on his face. We know that he just sent that bird plane flying. What do you think is happening? Go ahead and pause here to come up with your prediction, your guess. They always do. We get more information on whether our prediction is correct. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I love what the author does here. He doesn't tell us exactly what happened with his words. But we know by inferring that his plane got stuck on top and now we see that it's stuck on top through the illustration. But he never says that his plane got stuck using words. 
That's called inferring. When we take information from the illustrations and we take what we already know about the real world and we put the story together in our minds. I decided I was going to climb that wall. So he was officially going to try to conquer his fear to overcome it to get his plane that he worked so hard on. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Not just scared. Terrified is almost worse than just being scared. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. You can still tell he's nervous. See the, sh the lines around his hands? It shows they're shaking with fear. Until... I was no longer afraid. He made it. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who is famous for falling. All right, I want you to look at the picture though. He didn't fall, but what do you see is happening to his shell? And even the band-aids that were on him. He's starting to crack. Take this time to make another prediction. Why would an egg start cracking if it didn't fall? We're going to see some more illustrations that will help us infer what is actually happening. Right, we see it again. Cracks all over and he seems really happy. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Oh, wow. And learned how to fly. And this is the back cover of the book. It says, Life Begins When You Get back up. So as readers, we were able to infer that he wasn't just an egg you would find in your fridge, but he was actually, Humpty Dumpty was an egg laid by a bird who had a baby bird inside. And finally, he was able to crack when he was ready so that he could learn to fly and to soar and to become his true self. We can really connect this with our own life and what's been going on recently. Our world has changed a lot since last year. And we need to decide if we're going to be like Humpty Dumpty at the beginning of the book. Are we going to be afraid and nervous and not do the things that bring us joy? Or are we going to be like the Humpty Dumpty who gets back up and puts in everything that we have to do the things that we care about and love? So I want you to think about that. How life begins when you get back up.